Constructive proposal to gain spacefaring tech. My name is LD31, and I work for an aerospace firm. As you've no doubt heard, we are still working to gain the technology of manned spaceflight. There is currently some sort of military operation going on in our upper atmosphere, involving races that are already spacefaring. They seem to have found some sort of abandoned technology of yours, as best as I can tell from their radio chatter. If you swoop in and manage to crash at least one of their flagships into our planet, we can use the technology to get ourselves into space. Nobody will realize that you made this deal with us. They'll simply think that you were trying to reclaim your lost tech. And if you destroy them all, who knows? Maybe you can. Note this race is most suited to their planet out of the remaining races that are not yet spacefaring. This will make them a very good ally. If all enemy flagships are killed to gain a hydro tech, Acutians will become spacefaring. So, what do you think? Make the Acutian spacefaring? I say we go it. All right. We have our tech. Begin. Who are we Big fighting? Arsenal. Okay, those are Acutian friendos, and we're fighting Borings. We can't let le lesser races touch our tech, for Christ's sake. All you know right. What you can do with it? I'm going to drop this and boost our weapons just a tad bit. Auto fire, fire on selected chip. Let's go. Here's some even more reports. We can't let any of them survive. Oh, they'll still be able to tell that we did something. Yes, they could tell, but they can't really stop us. Ah, the hull's yeah, available. I'm glad. Alright. So we're going to turn Gravity Lance and start destroying the rest of the vessel. Now we even rescued some of the pilots. Full. A lot better if we can destroy the Skylaxians. Uh, we'll uh, not fire at exact point. We'll auto-fire right now. Wow, that's just a lot of firepower. What is shooting? Are those flak guns? In space? How many of them are there? No clue. Just one? And we'll do energy blaster, because I don't actually see where our opposition is. Okay, I'm going to scatter shot and just auto fire for now, because I currently can't see what's going on. There we go. Oh, you have no shields. This will make this easy. Gravity Lance. And dead. The Acution capitalists are now spacefaring. Extreme caution is advised. These are the same beings that destroy your That's what they get for trying world. to touch our technology. Oh, shiny new toys for your flagship. You may think that combat is easy now, but as the game progresses, it gets steadily harder. As combat becomes more tense, you will need to rely on an ever-growing list of special abilities as well as the tech upgrades you've been introduced to. Using a special ability sacrifices a normal turn. Instead, I drift and use whatever ability it is. And they're very powerful side effects. And destroy all incoming attacks. I can now also customize my flagship. We can unlock more guns and abilities. Excellent. And excess unequipped abilities are also useful whenever you use ammo from one of the abilities in my bar. And new unused ability in the same category is swapped in after 30 turns, if there is one. And everything has ammo and recharge time between uses. And the black market is now available with mercenaries and the ability to research. And some of the deals are behind closed doors. All right, Boreans like me a little bit less by one point, but that's not problematic. And I gain access, I gain access to the minigun. So I'm gonna go to our flagship customization. Cause I like spread shot cause the shotgun blast but the minigun is better against small craft. Actually, no, spread shot I think is better. Aisle three, wave of concussion, blows away small floating debris. Ah, uh, polarity corruption. Oh yes, polarity corruption creates friendly fire for everyone. Anti swarm lasers, shortwave virus. Kamechi, and divert power to shields. Alright. So we're going to pause here. So, shall I go to the black market research techs? 
or work on the borings a little bit further. Borings. Go work with the borings. They can be yeah, useful. All right, so we Mine can actually gone, build. We actually decided the borings are going to be our main race. Fair enough. So, we have a fair amount of options, but I believe at this time, first things first, I'm going to do a prisoner exchange. Uh, I'm going to give up all 12 borings to... I could do free return of prisoners, or I could get credit. Do it for free. Incre but improve that, the relationship. No, because I'm going to just do it for the credit, because it will... I can get the amount of influence gained from the free return in other methods. Money's useful. I can also improve yeah. relations with other races in between, <clears throat> however it'll cost me a ton of credit to do so. Or, we could build a space outpost. Build a space outpost. Keep an eye on them. Hmm. It's not under my control, mind you. It's under their control. So, they are going to be our main race, so... Um, military outpost or science outpost? Military. I, just, I don't know, at this point I don't see them being too much of a threat. That science could help them quite a lot. Fair enough. Especially One science on. outpost. Begin... Uh, I'm going to get some... I'm going to do a little thing of 14 workers off the black market. So that when we do the cooperative development of a space outpost, it's not going to take forever. In fact, I'm going to hire yeah, some but... more construction workers, because that's going to take forever. Alright, two months. Let's begin. It's acceptable. 41 seconds have passed. Oh, by the way, Peltians are currently not going to get spacefaring for an hour and 35 minutes, if you consider that a problem. They're normally, however, very big pushovers, and you can easily push them around. Having them join a federation is actually really simple. But we can afford to wait a little bit. Fair enough. Yeah. In this case, I'm going to choose to assist with armada construction so they can defend their outpost. Ooh. So. Thoraxians. Though you hear my voice through the mouth of a worker, it is I, the Hive Queen, speaking to you. My plan is being ravaged by disease and no vaccination plan is in sight. I've located an obscure hideout that may just hold the key to temporarily staving off this illness, however. 15% chance to acquire a new special ability. Additional influence gained and gives me fourteen hundred credit. Let's if do I, it. all right, mm. we don't the want money... we don't want it to be too easy. Yeah, and the money and chance for a new ability is always good. Fair enough. Obs they will die from our hands and not anyone else's. Obscura, obscura. Can I hit you if I'm in? Am I in range? Barely. Oh, energy observer. Absorb. Oh, it's just hull. Okay, so I want to actually be in gravity lance range and fire. I'm actually going to drop our shields, boost our speed, and continue firing. Alright, well, we're going to pop out the... Fr oh, there's polarity corruption. You know what? That's actually really good right now. Uh, Polarity Corruption is launched, so everyone will start damaging themselves and each other. And I will speed up a little bit further. Hmm. I don't seem to be making any headway. Oh, there we go. Let's turn around. And shortly virus. No. Stunner. Oh, I don't have the ability to use that. You know what? Oh, uh, let's pull up Operation Kamchi. So we now have a bunch of fighters going around. 
I want you to fire, not at a specific point, I want you to fire out that ship in particular. One more round of firing, and that should put an end to him immediately. Okay, one more round of firing. There we go, that's one Obscura. Gonna drop our weapon systems to zero, put up shields to max and speed, and let's see if we can get some movement going. Where's the rest of our enemies? They're over to the left. Yeah, you're right, all of them are. Uh, that one's at least moderately close by, so let's rely on my shields for just a little bit. Oh, wait. Okay, barely dodge that. I want to get within range. Alright, so we're in range. Power this up to max, keep our shields moderately powered, continue turning out of the way, and focus fire on you. I find it funny, last federation did not have a wiki. Fair enough, I mean we could be the first. Okay, we're gonna do full power to shields and skip a turn for just a little bit. And then drop our shields immediately afterwards, full speed ahead, and hopefully catch this man. But apparently that's not going to be the case, but we can always fire off some energy shots at him. Hmm. Well, we have to move. Ha, huh, that was nearly eh, all my shields in one go. Obscura is not fun to fight. They're actually being a threat. No, they are a threat. It's not they're being a threat. It's that they are one to begin with. Unacceptable. Can I get a little bit more? There we go. Hallelujah. So that's another one down. I don't want a shortwave virus, but I can't really use any of these. So two more fleets... And I'll actually be able to gain control over this section. We'll pump shields for now. Wish they could stop firing for just a little while. Is my shield actually recharging? There we go. I just have to not get hit for a little while. So we'll I have an idea for a good gambit. We we give the bird less space bearing technology and send them all to war against the thorax. I mean, we can always hire some warriors. That never stinks. No. We push them to full on war. So they will slowly wipe each other out. A feud between the two would be advantageous. And then we turn around and send our... Our chosen race against them. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it! It's just... Two more hits. Please. Thank you. It's an acceptable plan. But that means we'll have to play the waiting game. Eh, we also still have to... Like, this is all very far. Like, well and good, but it's still very far away from what we are capable of right now. Right now we have to wait to give them spacefaring tech anyway. Otherwise, we might Very just true. piss off the Boreans anyway, and everything that we've done would have been a moot point. We're playing far into the future. We are immortal creatures. Well, we do have permadeath turned on, if I have to remind you of such. I'm talking age-wise. Although, would it be correct to say creatures or creature? We're gonna go in and shortwave. I mean, we have one body. Yes, but we're parasites on that body. We already consumed the head. We just stole the functions of it, so... Alright, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna fall in behind him and hope that we can gut him immediately. Please, gravity well, I mean, lances. That's my for Hydra, so... Gravity yeah. lances, come on! There we go. I mean, we are controlling... We each are each controlling a head. So... I sp it's tricky. I suppose we could say we're all different creatures but as one. We are a legion. 
Geopolitical Fancy Analysis Enabled, RCI Data. Alright, I've delayed showing you these things long enough. There are four overall RCI scores for each planet, from left to right in the bottom row of the icons above. Economic, Medical, Environmental, and Public Order. These range from negative 2,000 to 2,000. The tooltips for each icon tell you more about the consequences of each negative value. The representative of overall societal trends and qualities of the life on a planet, a poor quality planet, even a planet like you, is not necessarily bad for you. These affect the likelihood of each kind of bad or good event and quest each location. In some cases, you can only get the best quest when a planet is doing terrible. Desperation motivates. Then again, as noted, the chance increases for really awful events to happen. Diseases, typhoons, etc. So it's a gamble. Let's talk about trends. Exactly one RCI value per planet is going to be trending either up or down at all times. On the left we see public order trending up for the Acutians, that's why it's a blue icon. On the right we see the red public icon for Peltians showing that it's trending down for them. What causes trends? You know, life stuff. People do things, butterflies flap wings, and trends de emerge. Hey, a whole bunch of new political deals open up to you. Dozens, literally. These tend to be called planetary advice, and you can use them to convince a race to focus on eradicating crime or enacting tax breaks or whatever. Remember, one trend per planet. If you execute a political deal with a race that starts a new trend, it replaces the old one. Experiment, don't try to max them out. They are a useful tool and, sometimes, and higher is often better. But really, negative numbers also open some cool opportunities. Anyway, we didn't gain any special ability. However, the Thraxians hate us a little bit less. Just a minor amount. Which we don't care about. And we got a we cure. Failed. And we got a small short-term cure for their stuff. I'm sad. We failed at the one mission we were trying to get. We did not get the free ability that we wanted. Oh well. So, things that I think would be of note to the lot of you. For the Acutians, the CEOs, their economy is currently tanking. For the Andors, their public order is currently tanking. For Borines, their public order is currently trending up and rising. For the Thraxians, their environmental is currently tanking. And the Skylaxians have their environmental currently trending up. As the new information that is relevant. So how can we make use of it? That's a fair question. Well, by starting positive trends, it'll actually increase multipliers. For example, public order as a multiplier improves the amount of troops that are made, also improves how quickly armadas are built, and prevents crime. Environmental trending up or down determines how populations grow, and also de increases or decreases the effects of natural disasters. Sorry. Medical also makes sure preventing of diseases and increases population simultaneously, but also manages research to a degree. And economy also reduces manufacturing and can help buff science, or does the opposite depending on if it's positive or negative. The current ones that we cannot interact with in any way of the RCI are Ivux and Peltians, for they have still not entered the space stage. Hmm. The Boreans need to be our, well, the proper word for it would be dog. So let's ensure that their military is quite strong. All right. Their public Dis order going down could be a problem. Uh, there, uh, it's a positive trend? No, it's actually a positive trend, remember. Is it positive? Okay. Yes, it is. Well, fact, either way, it... we went up. All right. I can either directly boost their military... Or, I can, I can either directly boost their military by increasing their armadas, or I can actually artificially bolster the public order with my own direct intervention. Boost the military. Okay. Might as well more, armada, more armada construction, indeed. If we're going to help them, make sure it's permanent. Well... There's a lot of things that say this isn't permanent. Also, Burlusts are going to be joining the galactic stage in T-minus 30 seconds. Burlusk as in the insane... Burlusks warlords are now spacefaring. Let's execute it ourselves. Too late. They seem likely to take their constant internal wars to the solar stage. The Burlusks have officially gone into the spacefaring stage, and now I will take off any option to try to force 
the spacefaring tech onto races without getting a special event that allows us to give it to them. The Burlas enter the stage with the second biggest ground army compared to the Thraxians. However, their economy is awful to begin with. In addition, their medical is trending down. Okay, agitate the Burlux against the Thoraxians. Let's see if that's possible right now. Doubtful. They do actually despise us, but let me take a look. Burlux are a mess. Like the Peltians, they don't respond to credit. Unlike the Peltians, this isn't due to innocence. The Burlus respond only to threats, violence, and bribes, which you can turn into leverage against specific warlords. Just don't put all your stock in one warlord, as internal intrigues or wars can wind up getting your guy killed. Mm. Currently, the Burlusts hate every single race except the Andors. Hydral Filth, how dare you approach after everything you've done to deny us a rightful place amongst the stars. There is no possibility for Federation deals. We can't interact with the military industrial complex. However, they have three warlords Tromod, Ligbuf, Muxol. The prime warlord is Muxol, the secondary is Tromod, and the second and, Libo, and Ligbuf are both secondaries. Secondaries can be quite useful. Yeah, let's go after secondaries. Ligbuf or, Ligbuf or Tromod? Tromod. Um, yeah, he sounds better. Tromod, we can challenge to a duel. We cannot blackmail, we cannot give him incriminating evidence, and we cannot put in a word with your boss. Mm. Challenge to duel. So, if you for. lose, that's it. You're dead. If you win, a new secondary warlord will pop up to replace this one. You get a bit of leverage over the current prime warlord and a moderate amount of leverage over the two secondaries, the current other secondary and the new secondary that refinishes. Perfect. Useful. And it's still early on. Well, if we're going to do that, I'm actually going to save the game. Good. Good idea. Let's, let's see what they're capable of. And if I remember right, Warlords are actually one of the strongest things you can fight in the game, so don't be surprised if I die. To Tromod. Challenging Tromod to a duel that will kill him. Hey, that's not fair. The ships are projecting some sort of field that prevents you from using your special abilities. That bites, actually. Well, this doesn't happen very often, it's just certain kinds of missions, but if you see your ability bar mysteriously missing, you know why. The text about the mission scenario always mentions when this is the case, too. So, the Birdlust Warlord vessel has a whopping 5 million hull, compared to our little whopping 300,000. Its shields are... About one fourth of ours. Interesting. But hmm. doable. I Just believe our amazing. current DPS will not be enough to handle whatever this is going on here, but that's just my prerogative. As such, I will always keep a certain amount of shields rising. Switching to energy blaster and firing on selected vessel. Now attempting some fancy maneuvers. Now let's hope we win. As long as we play it smart. Well, as long as I play it smart, sir. We are a legion, we are you. You are the voices in your head. Yeah, Although you have I'm... you have a control of the hands, so we can't do much. Alright, well, we seem to actually be doing just fine on this fight for right now. I'm going to drop the shields by one, improve how much damage we're dealing, drop our engines by one, and pump the rest into firepower for now, and we'll see what we can do about damaging the actual Burlust Warlord ship. Gravity Repulsor resists gravity. Interesting, so we actually have to use Spread Shot. I consider that a problem. Wait, he can use special abilities, but we can't? No, we just... No, no one can use special abilities. He just has special bullet patterns. Most of them seem to be about straight. And those are his shotgun blasts. So as of right now, we are currently getting trounced because we are just dealing no damage to him whatsoever. How's his shield doing? He has none. We just need to work on his hull, but... How close is he get to getting through our shield? 
Uh, our shield still is about quarter strength and is currently recharging. He is about to come around to fire off a shotgun blast. I am attempting to evade. Somehow avoiding all those shots, impressing even myself. Uh, excellent. He has actually made a maneuver that cuts me off into a specific corner that he can keep me trapped in for a little while. Note, we have barely chipped away at one million of his health. Note, we are not at one million. We've barely chipped away enough to reach this point. How's our shields doing? Our shields are now rapidly dropping to zero. That's not good. How's the hull? Our hull has not reached zero yet, and we've just barely avoided taking what would be shots that would lead to instant death. This might have been a mistake. It always Maybe. is, but you guys didn't know how to fight burlusts. I can get very close, but it's going to basically be no cigar for right now. We will remember this shame. I could have also remembered the fact that he actually was good against spread sh He's good against nothing except spread shot and replaced it with a minigun, which would have been an infinitely better weapon to use in this case. Okay, then let's try it again with minigun. It's good to note that their shield, uh, they don't have much in regards to shields. Still, it annoys me that we're dealing basically no damage to him. I'm gonna reduce our engines by one to see if I can just boost our damage just a tad bit more. His own shotguns hurt, but it doesn't hurt enough. Yeah, this... We'd only just chipped away at 1 million of his health. By the way, there has been a total of 43 turns, almost a full month of space combat. Wait, we spent a month in space? Yes. Also, Peter, are you eating chips or something? I'm putting away the bag. Ah, uh, it's a bit loud. It Darn. most definitely is, but not well. I can't help that bag makes a ton of noise. We'll make new bags. Yeah, we're going to load our previous save, and I will switch to the minigun. Let me try again. On the bright side, it is possible. And Tromod, let's challenge you. He only has 5 million health? Uh, 6 million, technically. 6 million. Oh, well. We took out a million with a shotgun. I think we can take out more. A minigun, yeah. All right, we are going to be getting into combat range. I'm just going to boost our weapons just a little bit more, switch to energy blaster, and fire upon... Or I should say, fire at will. All right, he's now gone to energy resistant because he has nothing else. We're going to be firing the minigun. Mercifully, the other benefit of the minigun is we can actually stay at a fairly decent range away from him, meaning we can actually evade his shots if I make every effort to do so. So, good for us. Basically. So, why ever use the shotgun? Uh, because it's much better against swarming vessels, which the Thoraxians were using at the time. Yeah, it's crowd control. So it's good for Thoraxians, not good for anyone else. It's a bug killer. It's essentially a well, bug no. Spray. In actuality, you can use it against vessels that also rely on using swarms. Evux, for example, with their high and mighty tech, usually end up having drone ships. Also, as a big change, he is now currently at one half of his health in maybe one third, fourth of the time that we were spending fighting him before. And how much health do we have? Uh, we are at full. However, yeah, he's, he's also dead. he is also swapping his ability to shoot stuff and is switching to a I completely different tactic. I love how we can do that, but we can't. Hey, he's a warlord. He has literally one of the biggest flagships out there. And still not enough. Alright, that's one big hit on us. 
I'm going to drop down our weapons by one and boost our shields so we take a little bit less damage from the bullet patterns he's spraying all over the place. He's getting desperate. He is, but he is now officially dead in three turns. And it only took a month. Almost a month. We gotta remember, though, these ships are the size of small countries. He is now dead. Wait, seriously? We have killed him. They're the size of Luxembourg. Holy shit. Alright, so, at the end of all this, the Burlusts now love us for proving our martial might. Furthermore, we also gain a new space combat multiplier added from boss kills, 0.01, based on one boss kill at 0.1 per kill. I'm it guessing... Was I believe that means we get an additional bonus multiplier in space combat as a result. Why are there... We're now veteran. I believe so. I would need to take a look, but I don't fully understand. Anyway, regardless, it's actually time for us to end this for now. This has been the introductory section to The Last Federation, which will be replacing Cluster Truck in all future streams. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, oh well, there's no reason to say that here. Welcome to the live stream, and no, we're not loading, we're saving a game. No, no, we're loading, so we have to redo that all again. Must burn them to the ground. Agree wholeheartedly. Anyway. Now let's. And next game, we're killing another warlord. We're killing his replacement. Oh God, why? His his name is Punk. You know you have to. <laughs> Farewell, everyone. May the galaxy burn. And you